How's it going? Um, first of all, I want to say, holy shit, I'm speaking at DEF CON, and it's an honor. And uh, second of all, holy shit, people actually showed up, so thank you very much. That's an honor as well. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about uh, getting the goods with SMB Exec. And my name's Eric Milam. Some people might know me as Bravo Hacks. <laughs> thank you very much. That's the end. So, uh, you know, of course, don't you know who I am? I'm on the attack and pen team for Acuvant Labs with uh, a bunch of great people. My boy Pure Hate, we do a lot of pen tests together. Involved with some open source projects. Maybe you guys have heard of Easy Creds, uh, SMB Exec, of course. EdderCap, we took over EdderCap a few years ago. And uh, involved with the Kali Linux distribution. So, uh, what is this all about, right? Basically, we're going to go over what is SMB exec, what does it do, why should you actually care. Um, there's nothing zero day here, so you can boo me if you want, but automation is awesome. Um, this is a tool you can use immediately. It's not some weird exploit that, you know, the sun and the moon have to align on a certain day. Um, and it makes post exploitation much easier, at least it has for me. So, what is SMB exec? Uh, SMB exec is a bash script because everybody who knows me knows I don't know how to code for shit. So, but I am very good with the Googles and uh, I just put a bunch of shit together until it works. Um, so it's about 1500 lines and about a million different functions. Uh, put it together in a week, uh, about an hour, about 100 hours worth of time, about, you know, a year's worth of Mountain Dew. Um, the power of the tool really lies in um, SMB client to get and put files and uh, WinEXE to execute those. Um, and we have uh, patched them for hash passing, so that works as well. So why write SMB exec, right? I mean, there's awesome tools out there, right? Everybody's heard, has anybody heard of the Metasploits? Yeah, right? Awesome tools, you know, why would you actually need this? Well, we were on a, a bunch of pen tests and we started to realize that our, uh, that the PS exec module was, was getting popped with our payloads. Um, so we used the custom EXE option, but that was also getting popped. So uh, we threw it out to the community and basically Mubix, wherever Mubix is, found out real quick for us um, that basically what it was triggering on was the uh, injection and the service protection. So, uh, you know, fuck you Trend Micro, but thanks for the motivation, we appreciate it. Um, so after we ran into this a few times, uh, Pure8 actually found a blog post by Carnal Ownage uh, that was basically upload and execute your payload and that's kind of where the script was born from. So originally, right, we just wanted to get our shells. We wanted our shells, um, so we wrote it so it would create an obfuscated payload that would bypass most AVs. Um, the newer versions, you can actually enable Hyperion uh, Cryptor.exe and uh, encrypt it as well. Um, we also had it so it would create a Metasploit.rc file for us and launch that. It would either launch it in X term or screen, depending on um, you know what you've commented out. If it, if it doesn't recognize X is running, it'll automatically launch the attacks in screen. Um, so that's kind of where it was at. And then we started learning a little bit more about WinEXE and we're like, you know, hey, we can basically run native Windows commands and there's a lot of cool stuff that we could probably end up doing. So I'm not a Windows guy, so again, I went to Google and Google told me what to do. Um, and we started uh, realizing some of the, the great things that we could do with it because what we really wanted the tool to do was to basically kind of go undetected and just look like normal Windows, uh, you know, um, traffic or normal network traffic uh, to our victims. So uh, WinEXE, I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, I hope you guys are, it's awesome. It's similar to the SysInternals PS exec. Um, modules, I'm sorry, the SysInternals PS exec tools um, and it also has a system flag. It also has an uninstall flag which is also awesome and I'll explain those a little bit uh, later. Um, there's no, you know, quote unquote payload necessary. You can basically run WinEXE uh, and just issue CMD and it'll give you a command shell back on, from the victim computer without executing a binary. Um, and it looks like normal Windows traffic to OPSEC. Basically you're getting what they should end up seeing is a successful login over the network. Um, there's, there are some caveats which I'll discuss later uh, that might be red flags. Um, so if you can execute commands a system, right, the possibilities are virtually limitless. So you can dump hashes from a workstation or a server, uh, create volume shadow copy, uh, run other tools a system, enable, disable UAC, uh, bypass it, um, you can also check systems for DAEA accounts logged in or running a process. 
Is that some type of sign for me or? What? I'm not fucking with anybody. You all know the drill. What does every new speaker do? Yes. All right. So I'm Mormon. Not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm a recovering Mormon. So. That's a good one. There you are. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. As you were. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see him get back into it now. Oh, you can't hear me? Okay. I, I know. All right. So is this better? All right. I apologize. Okay. So where were we at? So basically we can execute shit a system. Fuck it. We might as well. <laughs> Man, is that the alcohol or? Uh, <laughs> so we're like, well, holy fuck, let's get some hashes, right? You know, old school way was to get the uh, get the registry keys out and do it. So fuck, let's automate that. So we wrote SMB exec to dump the hashes from workstations and servers. And what it basically does is it just runs the Windows command reg exe save and it saves a registry key. So sys plus sam is your local hashes. Everybody probably knows that. Uh, sys plus sec is your domain cache credentials. Uh, and then we run it through cred dump which converts it into uh, uh, the hashes into John format. And of course we've got our high quality hash there as well. Um, so one of the other things that uh, I was on a pen test somebody brought up to me was WCE. Yes, I know about Mimikatz. I know it's awesome. The integration that they've done with Metasploit is incredible. Uh, it's, there's no political battle for me over this. It's just this was a tool I found. It's awesome. Uh, I worked with Hernan on it. Um, he let me incorporate it into SMB exec. Um, and WCE basically with the minus uh, W flag will dump clear text passwords out of memory. So it took me about five lines of code to code that in. That was another reason. It was super simple. And it runs automatically as part of the hash grab functionality. Uh, if you want to turn that off, you can. You just comment, it, uh, comment out the code. So uh, SMB exec, we are like, shit, let's get stuff off the domain controller too while we're at it. So um, again, I went to my friend Google and Google told me how to go out and run everything from the command line. And uh, so what this will actually do is it will log in over 445, create a uh, volume shadow copy. Um, it will save off the ntds.dit, the sys uh, key, um, and when it's done, it'll clean up after itself. It deletes the volume shadow copy it created, and it does all this. And I know there was a blog post in 2011 about this, but I don't know if most people know this. There was actually a blog post and forum post back in 2005 about doing this as well. So um, it's been around for a while. It's there. Um, uh, once everything's good, it runs NTDS extract and, and uh, libsedb gets the hashes out for you. It also creates a tab separated cred list for you uh, for other functionality within SMB exec. So let's go ahead and see a demo. So I recorded the demo so fuck it we'll do it live. Can you guys uh Okay. Does that look alright to you guys? Let me just. Alright so that's uh that's going to be exact. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to just really quickly just do uh, system enumeration, create a quick host list. And basically what it's just doing is just doing a quick end map scan looking for systems with 139445 open and it builds a list for you. Then we're going to go ahead and go into option three which is obtain hashes workstations and servers. Uh, please provide the username. I'm just going to spit it out here. This is Martin's password. So feel free if you see pure hate anywhere that's, uh, that's how you log in his accounts. Um, here it's a local account. Again thanks to Mubix local. Uh, this will uh, give it a, a period or a dot which is how de developers um, recognize local host and then it recognizes that there was a host list created so it's going to run against that. So this does take a little bit of time. You'll see um, it's basically what it's doing is going out, it's authenticating, uh, it's logging into the box, it's pulling down the uh, registry keys 
And then when that's done, it will basically upload um, my obfuscated WCE. It'll run that command. It'll pump it all out. So it does take a little bit. So let me hop over here and get this ready. I'm just getting rid of some of the stuff here that I know comes out of it and then sort. Can everybody see that? I made the font super big, so. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm a little hard up here, but. <laughs> but I try. <laughs> Is that a red card? Okay. So there we go, right? So basically it's pretty much done. There's our local hashes. Here's our domain cache credentials. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Royce Davis who's on our team, Reddy, who actually updated the, uh, took Carlos's cash grab and redid it so that it's a, actually worked standalone. Um, so that does include Vista as well as non-Vista versions. And then here's what I love the most, if I, if I could spell right. Boom, clear text passwords, right? So if you look at that, that's 20 characters. I mean, you're not going to crack that shit. There's no way. So it's awesome that, you know, you can just get out of there. So here's, um, here's one here, top dog, Bravo hacks, password. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. So let's go ahead and get the domain, um, uh, go after the domain controller. So again, three, um, go after the domain controller. I'm going to authenticate as top dog. This was Martin's old password. Um, and then I know that the domain controller, of course, is this, but um, you know, there's simple dig commands or whatever. You can look up and find it. So it asks you for the path to the ntds.dit. You could put any drive, any path. Oh, oh, wait a second. It helps if I give it the correct IP address. Okay, found the ntds.dit. Now it says, where do you want to save this stuff off to, right? You can give it a different path if you want. I'm going to leave it the same, see Windows temp. So it checks to make sure that the path provided actually exists. It checks to make sure that there's disk space. It creates the volume shadow copy. It copies those files off to your local machine, the ntds.dit and the sys. It then uh, deletes those files that were created. It removes the volume shadow copy that it created. And then it runs e, uh, Libby ESEDB um, to extract it and NTDS extract to get the, uh, get the hashes out. And you can see it's running there. Takes a little bit. Dramatic pause here. And then success. Looks like we got what we came for. So let's make sure that's, a tr that's, uh, that's true. So there you go. That's all the hashes off the domain controller right there for you. And it was like you were never there. So I have one other surprise for you. Might not be much of a surprise, but here's the domain controller. Oops. Did I spell something wrong? Oh. It's our, our desktop, right? Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, it's Windows Server 2012. What do you know? So this is going to work for a while. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hold on, sorry. Okay. So the caveats, right? There's always caveats, right? You're going to need uh, credentials to start with. 
You're going to need uh, something with local admin rights. Could be a domain account. It could be a local account. Um, but administrator and password tends to work in nine out of the ten domains we pen test. So go ahead and do that. Uh, of course, there's NBNS spoofing. Uh, I'm partial to EdderCat, but that's just me. Uh, and of course, there's always MSO8067. So. Um, so when someone's actually caring or paying attention, uh, WinEXE actually creates a service that could be stopped or become a red flag. It actually has a binary that it does install in the, I believe it's either the Windows or the System 32 or uh, one of the paths. Um, so that could be a red flag, could get caught. So it touches disk basically. Um, sometimes AV doesn't like WCE, but what I've gone ahead and done, and the reason why it took a little bit longer to run was I've actually obfuscated the resource DLLs that are within the WCE binary and the WCE binary itself. So it takes an extra couple of seconds, but I'm pretty sure AV is going to have a hard time with it. And that's just, just part of what I release. So, um, authentication over port 139445 is required, right? If you can't do that, this doesn't work. And then low cards exchange principle. Any contact with something is going to leave a trace. Like I said, this touches disk. This will not stand up to a forensics investigation, but I can tell you that most, uh, uh, admins are going to look at the server and think everything's just fine. Um, it does have a lot of logins. That's the main thing is since it's automated, it might log in three or four times. Uh, that might look bad if they're looking for that. Um, so where can I get SMB exec? Um, it's out on uh, SourceForge or GitHub under Bravo Hacks. Um, uh, Metasploit modules were created. There's actually six modules created by Royce Davis uh, on our Acuvant team. He's also from pentestgeek.com. Uh, two of them are actually in the framework. That's PS exec command and NTDS grab. Uh, in packet, it looks like they developed something in Python that was based on Royce's work. Uh, SMB exec version 2.0, like I said, I know Bash, I don't know anything else, and I don't really know Bash that well. So uh, a couple guys on our team ported it to Ruby, so it's multi threaded, it works better, less hiccups that come along with, you know, a Bash script. And that's uh, Brandon McCann and Thomas McCarthy, uh, also from Pentest Geek. Um, so credit where credit's due. Of course, WCE, Hernan and Choa, SMB client, and WinEXE hash patch, uh, has passing patches. Uh, Joe McCon, Emilio Escobar, who's also the lead developer of Edercap. Skip Duckwall, of course, Mr. Duckwall. Uh, you know uh, the original Vanish script, the Samba team, of course, WinEXE, uh, Metasploit, HD, Egypt, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Fedora and Map team, uh, Cred Dump, NTDS Extract. Uh, the list goes on and on. So basically, I couldn't SMB exec really wouldn't work uh, without that. Um, so I don't know if I have time for questions, but please give the hackers for charity. Go buy a T-shirt or something. We love those guys. Um, on Twitter, I'm Bravo Hacks. On IRC, I'm Johnny Bravo. Thank you very much.